All right. Another quick update. I know I just did one, but I uh, want to do this one. Uh, last week, Cody had shown an overview of the entire product. We got some great feedback from different people, some messages that came in. Um, thank you for the input. We really, really do love that. One of the questions or the comments was about having multiple phone numbers. And I don't think it was quite as evident because we didn't have the icon there about what where we were going with that. But primarily, the, the way it's set up right now is that there is a primary both phone number and email in the screen. So these are like, if you're going to do any kind of automation, any kind of anything, this is the phone number, this is the email to use. Okay. Um, from here, we can, we can click on the little icon and I can send an SMS to that phone number. I can dial that phone number. I can add that phone number to a call list. Um, likewise, if I click here, I can send an email. What was questioned was, hey, I've got phone numbers for other things and you know, work phone numbers and other phone numbers that I you know want to have. And, you know, where do we put those? So over here on the right hand side, there is an icon with little arrow and, and three little dashes. <laughs> um, you click on that and you can see kind of the, the phone number list. And again, from here, I can click on the little icon, send, you know, do the same thing. Um, I can come in here and I can edit that phone number description. Like if I wanted to come here, I can, you know, make notes. I can add it to do not call or whatever and, and put it on the list. I can also add additional phone numbers. So I can come here and say, um, you know, bat line, you know, whatever you, you know, five, 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 one, two, one, two, uh, but do not call it, um, helpline, you know, whatever you, you want to put in there, notes or whatever, and you put it in the list. Now, if it is a do not call, obviously you don't really want to call it. We do, I do put it in red, just making sure that it's there. Um, so you've got each of the different numbers and being able to call them if you wanted to, you know, do whatever you want to from this menu right here. The primary phone number though is, is off to the left. So, you know, whenever you're, if you click on it, it'll go ahead and put it in there. So if you want to make a different number of the primary one, no, no big deal. You, you simply select it. It will always put the primary at the top. So it's always there. Everything else is uh, down below. It does put the do not call list numbers at the bottom. Anything in between then is alphabetical based off of the, the description. It's the way I currently have it. Uh, same type of thing for the email. So if you've got multiple email addresses, you can specify them. If you want to email those email addresses manually, you can certainly do that. But the whole purpose or thought in this is this is the primary number. This is the primary email. Anytime we're doing automation, these are the ones that are being used. In um, the old program, we had situations where people were getting, you know, putting in multiple numbers, multiple addresses, and it's like, which one do you choose? And some they didn't want to be sent, but yet it was automatically sending them and blah, blah, blah. So uh, this is just a better way of handling it, I believe. If you have an altering opinion, different opinion on that, let me know. I, I really want to, you know, make sure that it works for you and making sure that it does what you need it to do. But that was the premise, the idea of that. And hopefully that will make sense. So if you guys have any other questions, reach out, Mark at workflowsecrets.info. Have a great day. Bye.